Good morning everyone. Thank you so much for joining me and today we are making some journal tags or gift tags and um, this is not my idea. This is actually um, a project inspired by um, Wendy's journal adventure and um, now with her she has this really cool um, tag, little punch tag that she, she used and then also she has a circular little punch that's what they got, tag punch and so, um, but I don't have that and in addition to that she has some really nice pretty um, set of stamp from um, Tim Holtz so I don't have those either so um, I'm basically just working with whatever I have I had used just one punch for this for this tag so um, I hope you stick around and uh, let's make some tags together so um, let's go ahead and get started so what you'll need is a um, a book page a text or even um, music note page anything you want to use and then of course you want to back that with any um, blank paper on the back so you, so you can journal or write to and from if you want to use them as a gift tag and so um, so and all I did was um, affix my um, blank sheet of paper you can also use just a tea dyed paper you know just to for the journaling part so I had um, just attach the paper that I wanted to use here and um, for the circle I don't have a punch so for the circle I just used the lid on my Mod Podge I traced it and then just cut it and then um, the same thing with my paper I just I just cut it to size and um, and affixed it to my um, text page so and then all we do is just trim that the best that you can um, of course if the camera is not running I will be taking my time and really um, fussy cut this very neatly but just for the sake of time I'm just gonna do my best here so so that's that and then let's do this one so you can take any lid cup that you have to whatever size the circle you want to do right we all do that if we don't have the circle we just trace it and then cut it um, so so okay let me clean this up so then this is my tag and this is for the circle so now all I use I have this it's a little punch um, tag maker and it's by the paper studio and what's nice about this is it's got three different sizes the largest is two and a half and then it goes down to two inches and then one and a half inches on one so um, you just need to basically cut the paper to to the size of your um, cutter so in my case here I have um, the two and a half inches so all I do is just place it in the position there and then punch that's it now you got a tag right and then I decided um, because I don't have a special punch to make those pretty tags that Wendy made so I had to improvise and so I thought I'll just poop it around and see what I come up with and voila that's what I get now you notice it's a little bit more squared off on the side so all I did is took my scissors and then just kind of round those off a little bit just round them off okay see that looks much better isn't it okay and the nice thing about this too is we can get a smaller one okay so that was the two and a half let's do a two inch one let's do a two inch 
let's do a two inch and yeah just two inches Okay, so now with this one, it is, how long are you? It's about four and a half inches long and then two inches that way. So now I'm gonna cut this guy. This is two, let's do two by two by three. Okay, about two by three, I'm not gonna be specific. It's two by three and it is two inches wide, right? So all I do again is just place it in there and try to best to um, center it. And then you just punch. And then you clip it. And then punch. Now you get this different shape of tag. All from the same um, punch, right? It's already sort of circular there, so I'm not... This end is a little square, so I'm just going to slightly round that off, right? That's it. And you can go even smaller, and you can go larger. The smaller one is really adorable. Let me see if I can find a smaller one. Let's see? This is a small one. Isn't it cute? So that's that with this... Um, Paper Studio Punch. It's a three um, three punch tag there. So then the next thing we need to do is, yep, you got it. We're gonna ink. We're gonna ink, ink, ink our tag because we ink everything, don't we? It just looks better that way. Okay, so that's that. So then now, what do we want to do? I'm going to I'm going to do this one. My pad is not big enough, but that's okay. So we want to stamp our image. You can you can stamp whatever image you've got. I just kind of grab whatever I have on my um on my stash and uh I just worked it from there. So now you want to put this Best you can in the center now. Now you want to consider too if you're going to put a text on there or whatnot. So I am going to put the word journey on the bottom of this. So I'm going to stamp it slightly up to the top. And then where's my journey? I wish I have a bigger word than this, but that's okay. There you go. Now you can you can just take some tags from like Tim Holtz if you have them, you know, like this one. I got a picture of a camera and then I, I put the word smile. And then this one, you know, or you can just cut it off a magazine or whatnot, you know. You don't have to have a stamp just like I did. So that's the beauty of it of this project is you can you can use whatever you want. Make it your own. I just love the idea. So I went for it, and um, and I really, really like it. So now we have a, we're gonna put some um, eyelet on there. So I'm gonna, I have my crocodile over here. I don't want to put it on my glass just in case I break it. So I'm just gonna go over here for a second. All right. So there's that and then you can just take now she I, I had she has some charms on hers and uh, what she used was uh, an o-ring but I decided to use Tim Holtz little paper clip because I thought they're cute and they're so much more easier so I'm gonna do that and then I have some seam binding here that I dyed with my um, tattered angel mist so I'm just gonna take a piece of that and then just fit it through okay just fit it through somehow somewhat 
and then before you secure it you want to feed your paper clip as well so it's nice and secure there and then just fold the rest through okay that's good enough and then I just like to make sure that's the 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 one with the double loop on the bottom is what's hanging. See how there's one here and then two here. So this would be my bottom and this is the top where it's going to be hanging through the ribbon. So this is what it looks like. It's looking really cute already, isn't it? So and then we're just going to put a charm up there on the top. And you put whatever you want. I'm going to put this little butterfly and then I'm going to, here I'm going to need an O-ring. Where's my O-rings? kind of set it there um, nice nicely and just watch it the way he hangs sometimes the way you put it on it, it just goes backward so just kind of there you go there all done and did we yeah we inked that so that's all done you can't add additional um, charm there if you like let me see I think I have just like this so this one has two um, charm hanging one up here and then one up here so that's it guys and it, it's just basically the same thing with um, with the circle so um, really simple I hope that was helpful should I do another one let's do this because that I, I want to show you how I got my circle. So all I did is trace it. And then you just cut. where we want our little hole there. I had to mark it because otherwise, okay, there it is. And we're going to put our bread. Okay, let's stamp it with this guy. I'm just using stays on stamp or ink. And we're going to put a little B there. Hopefully, this is straight and center. Oops. It looks good. I'm okay with that. Okay, and then we're going to put... Now on some, just because I have some colored um, little eyelid, I'll just use the colored one. Just like that. And then let's do this. No, let's do green. Let's do green, 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 green. Okay. Oh, no, we forgot to ink this. We gotta, gotta ink everything. It's not finished unless we didn't ink it, right? Sorry about my bracelet, guys. So how's your guys' week? School finally started. Yay! 
more free time for the mommies, right? More time to do some arts and crafts and just do some journaling. <laughs> so, okay. So I hope you guys are having a great week. All right, this, so that's one. Okay, and what's charm? Flower, let's get a flower for that one. Do I have a flower? I do, I do, I got flower. We need for the flower there. And I need an, an O-ring. My O-rings already open. They're recycled rings from some old um, necklaces, and uh, I just recycle them. So, and they work. Why not? Why not? Oops, sorry, I'm off frame there. I think so, but um, I'm just trying to make sure it's gonna lay right. I can't see so far away, so that's why I had to bring it in towards me. Anyways, there you go. And there's that. There's that. How cute is that? Let's go ahead and um, see what they look like in our journal. Where is our journal? Journal, journal, journal. Okay. Okay, here's my old journal. Let's see. This is my very first journal that I ever made. I'm still like, working on it. So here's, and you just kind of attach it with a paper clip. Um, you can even use the same paper clip that um, the little bitty one from Tim Holtz, but I don't have any more here. So I'm just gonna grab a paper clip from my drawer, from my desk. So you can use them as journaling tags, just like that. Or you can put them in a, uh, where's my pockets? I don't have pockets here. What? What? You could put them in a pocket, in a tuck spot like so. See how nice is that? I need to work on this journal. Okay, and then you can put it on the the end of your of your um, cover as well. Isn't that isn't that pretty? Or you can use them as gift tags. So. Yeah, I really like them. They turn out so cool, I think. So, um, I hope that you guys like um, this project. Give it a try and see what you guys can come up with. You don't have to use stamps. You can use just stickers if you don't have the stamps. Be creative with it. Like I did here is I just took a stamp like this guy and I just use my ink tense pencil and color that in same thing with this mushroom I stamped it and then I colored the mushroom red so and then this the Sun here as well so yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching and I think they're just really great addition to the um, journals so Give it a try. And um, yeah, thank you so much. And you guys have a great day. And we'll talk to you again really soon. Bye for now.